Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter for your basic Sorgonomics for whatever the heck this date is. But anyways, we'll get into all that here. What what is this week is 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 turning into and why I may or may not be able to report you the basic Sorgonomics later in this week. Uh, but that's for tomorrow. Today I want to talk about Twitter friends. I actually had a great conversation uh, this evening on here on Monday uh, when we're, is it still Monday? I don't even, yeah, it's still kind of Monday-ish. It's Monday-ish. Uh, but anyways, uh, so I had a great uh, discussion with an old colleague, uh, Mr. Justin Kanaki. He's the co-founder of PodCamp Pittsburgh, celebrating its 10th iteration coming up here in August. So please, please, please go check that out if you're uh, into that. And, and and of the many, many awesome conversations we had on our awesome su- subjects that came up, uh, we, we discussed uh, this idea of the Twitter friends. And I kind of want to dive in that a little more. I've talked on here before about how uh, the social media and the video and like you know for instance tonight you know talking with my good friends and i consider them good friends even though we've only met in person a handful of times amongst the both of them my friends in corporate corpus christi texas and poughkeepsie new york uh but i talk with them uh, more it seems like than my physical friends here that sounds kind of sad uh but anyways uh, but but the Twitter friends concept, and and I don't know if you, you probably hear me kind of talk about this in conversation, if in, in person, or, I know my wife does, uh, and a lot of our, our friends do. This this phenomenon and this community that kind of came out of PodCamp, a lot of people being involved with the organization of it, or just friends that were made at these events over the years, usually around drinking too afterwards. But anyways, that, that really solidifies all of those relationships. But I've always been fascinated by this because there's that there's there's Yin's team, uh, something that happened for a while where it's just all of us, and we're like various um, levels of of uh, 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 social media and bloggers and and newspaper people and TV people and 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 all kinds of strange strange things, uh, all together and playing softball as well as we possibly can, you know, uh, and and and. Often at those those Yins teams, I would just kind of look around and, and kind of assess like like I'm judging you people. That's what that's what I was doing on the sidelines. I know I'm very quiet at Yins team, uh, but you know, but but seeing the, the just the mess mesh of people that come together for something like this, uh, the mesh of people that do come together and and go hang out, you know, uh, and 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 it's always been interesting over the years. And, and the people that you know uh, pitch in and uh, have on the podcast, and I wouldn't have otherwise, you know, with this, and, and people that I, I I kind of hang out with on a day to day basis these days, it, it's really kind of, um, and, and I don't know if this is something that we were the early adopters of Twitter, as I think was suggested on my talk with uh, Justin earlier. Uh, and that's on awesome chat on awesomecast.net if you want to check that out. And, uh, but, but there's, I think there was a lot of their blog fests at the time that they were doing with Pittsburgh bloggers. There were all these kind of little events, not just PodCamp itself, that helped this as well. And I remember going to these events, and you put your little Twitter handle on your tag, and you start, you know, connecting. I was like, oh, you're the person that I've been talking to for the last few weeks about something that was going on, right? And you're starting to put faces, the names, and then and then you're starting to, uh, you know, see them in more and more events and get to know them, and you're still getting to know them on Twitter. And I think that's what's the important part here. When you look at... You know, we talked about, you know, again, very social media heavy day because another podcast we recorded today talked about kind of the obsession and self kind of culture and what that does as well. But, you know, and then how that that lowers the barriers. But I think, you know, in our previous conversations, but I still think like when you're having Twitter conversations, you're able to lift the veil a little bit. I know sometimes I'm very uh, timid when I'm in a person in person conversation. Yeah, I feel all right here. I feel all right on Twitter, right? Uh, yeah, very introverted in cer- certain situations. So I think that has opened up to, you know, I'm having these conversations here on this platform where I feel safer and can be me. And that now gets out as I, like, you run into somebody, I already know you. We've been tweeting in text form for, for so long. This is we know what we're doing here. You know, we know we're, 
buddies. We know, you know, already we're Twitter buddies and we just continue the conversation one on one in a group over a beer uh, that we did previously. Yeah, uh, You know, they say that alcohol is a social lubricant, but really Twitter is. At least it has been. And I, and I wonder if people are still having these experiences quite as much. I, I feel like, you know, what? I actually I think I think I am. I, I think it does still happen. There was actually uh, a a you know we talked about you know running into these fans of the show uh, on Power Hour the uh, morning afternoon Power Hour with the uh, uh, LB and the Sorg uh, that you can go check out also at Sorgatron.com. It's this weekly podcast we do. And uh, there was a guy uh, that that I ran into it came up to me at a, a, a vicious outcast wrestling show down all the way down in Connellsville. And then I worked this Northeast wrestling show up in uh, Niles, Ohio. Apparently he's, he's up from that one. And I, and I forget cause my memory is just shot with these things. Um, I recognized his beard not his face, his beard because I'm bad with faces. Apparently I'm good with beards. And uh, he's from like up around my way. He's telling me about wrestling shows that are happening back in my hometown that I can't even fathom at this point. And uh, but after this one, I noticed uh, we had connections on Twitter and he started conversing with me and I recognized his Bray Wyatt get up and everything. And now that's going to stick with me more. Right now, that is a guy that I'm going to recognize and maybe even remember his Twitter handle, you know, and that's no slight on anybody. I'm just bad with names. Thank you, name tags at these blog fests and Twitter handles, because that's more memorable to me. Uh, but uh, which is nothing new. That is a whole other podcast. But uh, but no, it really does kind of accent like like, you know, when you talk about LinkedIn, isn't that what LinkedIn's supposed to do? You met that person, you continue the conversation online to build a professional relationship without going to all these damn networking events. The, the networking event is going on all the time. The networking event is happening on your phone. It's happening on your computer. Uh, some of you guys just on your phone. And you do have to make that physical connection at some point, especially if it is somebody local. If you can do that, if you can handshake with somebody, I think that still is a very weighted experience, right? Uh, got to go meet some podcasting colleagues a couple of weeks ago. And we could have just uh, continued a conversation on Twitter, on on email, maybe on Hangout, like I did with uh, uh, somebody last week that's in New York. That makes sense. They're in New York City. We can do this. We can still make a connection. And it's somebody that I've met in person before, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but you know, to, to go uh, press the flesh, as they say, uh, you know, is still very, very important. But that conversation continues in email and Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever the case may be. And, uh, and, and you have to have both sides of it. So... I, I'm curious, uh, you know, I don't don't feel bad if you don't have Twitter friends. <laughs> Hopefully you have a lot of real friends. Uh, not that they're fake, but I mean, real like that weren't acquired via Twitter, via social media, via Mark Zuckerberg. Um, uh, people going on there. But let me know. I don't do you, do you find that you have acquired new friends, acquired new relationships a lot over Twitter, over these other ways? Um, let me know uh, on the Twitters at Sorgatron in comments to this if you find us on YouTube and the video uh, or comments on Sorgatron.com under this blog post. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for the great, great feedback. Please let me know what you dig, what you don't dig about the show, uh, what comments or what subjects do you like more than others? Should I stay with the social media things? Do, do you like when I go other directions, video, whatever the case may be. I can promise you if there's going to be shows later this week, they're going to be very, very different than what you're used to seeing on here. So thank you, everybody, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.